Hey folks, this is Phyllis. I'm back. And just to catch you up with what we're doing with this easy tote, on the last video I showed you this is what we're going to be making. And the uh, it's got an inside pocket. Okay. I put a link below to how we measured, how we got the material for this and the first stages of making this uh, bag. The link is below to Easy Tote Part 1. This is Easy Tote Part 2. And I want to show you, this is my measurements. We're going, I want you to just kind of write them down if you, if this is on the first video. These are my measurements. It's 31 and a half by 27 and a half. The thing that's unique is the outside, one cut makes the outside and the, and the liner as well. Okay. And then we cut the material for the straps. We had two of them. And in the, in the, vid, the tutorial, it said 10 inches, but it really was four inches. My husband had to help me figure that one out. Okay, and then we put an, a one inch strip inside the interfacing, but you can see all that on the first video. Now, this video is going to pick up with the seven by 12 and five eighths inch pocket. Now, I don't know why five eighths inch, but for some reason, I came across a piece of material that was exactly um, seven by, well, actually it's longer than that. It's seven by 13. So we're just gonna go with this. I don't know why five eighths. I know, you gotta know the rules to break the rules, but I've done this. I did this one, remember? And honestly, it really wouldn't make any difference if that was another inch longer or half inch longer. So we've got that done. And I did finish the straps. Here's the straps. I haven't sewed them. But when I sew them, I'm going to sew them along this edge and along this edge. I might show you, show that. I might not. I was supposed to have that done before I did this next video. Okay, here we go. We've got this. Um, pocket. It's seven and a half by twelve and a half, and we're going to fold it together. There's no. Uh, this doesn't have a. Um, this does not have a right or wrong side. So we're just going to sew this together. I don't know why I'm so confused. I'm sorry. We're just going to turn it right side out. I'm going to take it over to my machine where I've been stitching everything with red thread. We're going to sew it, leaving an opening so that we can turn it inside out. You know what? I wasn't shaking earlier today, <laughs> and now I am. I wonder what is up with that? What's up with all this shaking? This is a little trick I'm going to show you <coughs> later on what I, what I use that for. Now I'm just going to give it a fourth of an inch all the way around. You 
know, my sewing machine, the tension, the tension on my sewing machine is looking terrible. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, here we go. Okay, now on this side, on this side, I'm going to leave an opening for turning it around. didn't leave the <gasps> I don't know what's going on with that joke I've, I caught that guy I guess it's <laughs> let's talk it's too anxious here I know look at this Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to show you these straps. I finished sewing this. I, I took a break and, and kind of fixed up some loose ends off camera. And so I finished sewing this bag. I mitered, I mitered the corners. We're going to turn the bag inside out. Well, this isn't the bag. This is simply the um, pocket. I finished the bag. Mm -mm. Can't finish the bag without you. You know, I've been going through something today with this gray skies. The only thing that puts a smile on my face is thanking Yahusha for healing my eyes and, you, and Lou's eyes. You know, I told you I'd love to be able to sew if I could just see, but the cataracts it would make everything foggy. And then when I turn on a brighter light to try to see clear, it would actually that would cause a glare. So there wasn't any good way to be able to see with your cataracts. And you know, I think it's very interesting. Lou's eyes are 2020. He has the same vision he had as a teenager, as a child. And you know, that reminded me of Moshe. When he when he died, when Moshe died, he um Yahusha put him away but up until the day that he died they say that his eyes were not dim and he was not weak and but the point I'm trying to make here is Moshe's eyes were not dim with age and now Yahusha has healed Lou's eyes from being dimmed by age so Moshe never had any cataracts. You think it's because he got he was so close to Yahusha that he shone like a light himself. I don't know why these the I'm having so much trouble getting these corners poked out. Okay, that's good. Okay, see this is my pocket. And I'm going to take this over to the iron board and sew it. And so we and iron it. We iron at the ironing board and we sew at the sewing machine. I I seem to get those two things confused. I seem to forget what I do at which station. Okay. What I'm doing here is I'm closing up 
where that opening that I left. See that opening? So real quick, I mean, it just fell into place. So before I go any further, I'm going to, because I've, I'm using red thread, I'm going to sew the entire length. It wouldn't look right if I just sewed that section. So I'm going to sew this entire length. Just one eighth of an inch. Just enough to catch that edge and close it, lock it down, okay? Let's lock her down. What's wrong with my... This is really messy looking with lots of threads. So I've got to take time out to get rid of the threads. It's one of the disciplines. All right, so now we've got the pocket made. Now I'm going to show you that, uh, that batting that I put inside here it's really making this a little harder, a little thicker. And it's harder to get this. This is all the way to the edge, but then as I go down here, it's not all the way to the edge. But that's okay. We're going to figure this out. I'm, I'm sewing this along this line, making sure I'm just doing it just as close to the edge as I can get. Now see how this is getting wider here? Uh, that's something I did wrong. even more and more out of, out of now I'm going to sew down the other side just for now this is just for looks or balance the I, I hope I didn't go off the <laughs> off track at the end. No, okay, good. I'm good. I'm good. Look at that. Isn't that pretty sharp looking? That's looking good. All right. 